Jalen, what allowed you guys to play so much better tonight right from the start? Um, were you able to relax more, days between games? What, what was it? Uh, I think just mindset. I think we uh, put an emphasis on defense, trying to make them uncomfortable a little bit. Um, you know, they had a slow start. Uh, we had a good start on defense, and uh, I think that kind of opened up the game. Jalen, defensively, what, what was it that you guys were able to do? Is it as simple as like just playing harder and picking them up uh, a, a little bit higher, or was there more to it? Uh, a little bit of that. No dare shots. Um, respecting those guys' capability, um, the, the NBA players, and they can make shots on any given night. So um, treating them accordingly, closing out, um, just making them uncomfortable. And then on the other side, just executing the offense. The series has dragged out for, you know, you have two days in between each game, a little bit unusual. Um, what have the last couple of days looked like for you, just wanting to bounce back from this? And what, how different does it feel to play on the road versus at home? Um, no difference. It's just, you know, obviously, you know, playing in front of your home crowd is, it gives you another level of energy, et cetera. But at the end of the day, it's basketball. Um, so um, no difference. But looking forward to, you know, playing on, uh, on Monday. Um, less time in between, get a rhythm. Uh, I feel like we're still getting it going. I think we still got, you know, another gear to, to kick into. So I'm looking forward to Monday. Jalen, uh, the second quarter was huge for you guys to build a comfortable lead. And a lot of the shots in that second quarter came from the mid-range in a series where the three-pointer has been key to winning these games. What role did the mid-range shot play today in you guys being able to steal this one on the road? Um, every game has its own, has its own story. Um, uh, so, you know, you want to take what the defense gives you. Obviously, you know, you know the math is if you got open shots from the three, you take them. Um, but, you know, if they're giving up, you know, certain shots in the paint or in the mid-range, anytime we get two feet in the paint, that's good for us. So, um, you know, taking advantage of what the defense gives you. We had a lot of skilled players on our team that could do a lot of different things. Um, so, you know, making them pay for whatever they give up. Jalen, uh, coach said that there's no difference between between regular season and playoffs. That you, you guys just need to bring it and execute. Do you see a difference, or do you follow what what he said? Um, I think there's a difference. You know, for sure, it's a lot more intense. Um, the pressure is a little bit up, but like at the end of the day, um, it's just basketball. So we just come out and execute and be the harder playing team. Um, we shouldn't see a difference. We should still be able to have the same success. So. Um, I'm looking forward to the next game, one game at a time. Uh, Jalen, uh, from from your perspective, uh, Chris Das Porzingis, I mean, what he did tonight, especially coming off of game two, I mean, he outscored his point total in the first, like, five minutes of that first quarter. What did you see out of him in, just out of the gate in terms of his focus? And um, what, what do you think was the difference compared to what we saw in game two? Just being aggressive. I don't think he was looking for calls, especially being on the road. I think he was just, you know, embracing that, you know, physicality of the game. And he came out with that mindset. And that's what we need him to do every night. Jalen, uh, you said mindset. What is the principal difference between last year mindset and this year? Thank you. Um, last year is last year. You know, now we're, we're here and we're in 2024. We got a new team. And we learn from our experiences, you know. Um, um, and, and now is the time to show it. The whole world is watching. So. Um, I think we're excited, you know, we're excited to brace every step of the journey and just taking it one game at a time. Jared, then Adam, then Garrett. Peyton's had a few games where he just comes in there and just kind of changes the whole tempo of the game on both ends. He kind of like had that, you could see he just kind of had it in him tonight where he just wanted to be super aggressive and get under their skin. Just how did he do that tonight? Yeah, Peyton, like his energy has been fantastic for us all year. Him like just making shots, him making plays, him getting on the glass, you know, Peyton, um, Peyton is a dog, so like we, we look forward to him being able to make those plays down the line in the playoffs, uh, but he did a great job tonight. Jen, you mentioned like no dare shots. You mentioned these are all NBA players who you know can make open shots. What was the process like over these couple of days where you guys decided there would be kind of a little bit of a, a change in scheme and, and come to the agreement that this is what this game needed from you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good, you know, on any given night, you know, you know, teams can come out and hit a plethora of shots. You know, they had a record-breaking night um, the other day, but, you know, we don't panic. Um, we watched the film, we broke it down, seeing where we can make some improvements, and we come out and we execute. And I thought that's what we did tonight. Um, but, 
it, it calls for that. You know, everything ain't going to go and be perfect. We just got to make sure that we stay together and um, we keep learning from our mistakes in real time and, and executing down the stretch. Final couple questions, Gary. And then... Jalen, what was Joe like the last couple of days? Obviously, it's a big game. I mean, what was he like in, in terms of his mannerisms and having knowing that adjustments need to be made after game two? Um, I didn't notice a difference, you know, from Joe. I think that, you know, once we seen the game, we didn't overreact. I thought Miami played incredibly well in game two. They shot the hell out of it. You know, I thought we, you know, executed our game plan. It's just that Miami had a, a really good game. Um, and tonight, you know, we wanted to come out and make it a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, but it wasn't a lot of adjustments that were made. Um, we just got to come out and make sure we're the harder playing team. We take away some of the stuff that they got easy and then just play basketball from there. MGM Remix Sports Media. Jalen, you guys were in sync offensively all night, and you guys moved the ball exceptionally well. As one of the leaders of this team, what were your messages in, in the huddle, you know, to keep that going on the course of this game? Yes, sir. Make, make the right play. You know, this is what, you know, we've been working hard for our whole season. So, you know, these moments, you know, just breathe, relax, um, see the game, you know, trust your teammates, trust each other, and just come out and do what we've been doing, you know. Um, it's just us against the world. And, you um, we got each other's back. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.